When Jesus teaches us to pray, give us today our daily bread, he is first of all training us to see ourselves in a certain way in relationship to God. To the surprise of even his disciples, he insists, Truly, I tell you, unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 18.3 If there is one fact that is obvious about children, it is their dependence. Unless a parent or guardian provides milk for a baby, the infant will die. According to Jesus, that remains our true condition into our adulthood, whether we are conscious of it or not. If God were to withdraw his nourishment from us, we would not just slowly shrivel, but immediately cease to exist. It's like pulling the plug on a TV. The TV doesn't slowly fade. It goes immediately to black when its life-giving energy is taken away. This is why the Lord's Prayer includes the word today. It's not enough for us to, for God to kickstart the process of sustaining human beings and then sit back like a parent retreating into a book while the children race off to attempt some task or play by themselves. On the contrary, we rely on God's provision each moment of our lives. He spells out what he means when he says, I am the bread of life. And we see that Jesus himself is the daily bread that he encourages us to pray for. Churches of both the East and the West pray the Lord's Prayer just before the distribution of communion. The priest consecrates the bread and wine, asking the Holy Spirit to sanctify them so that they might be the body and blood of Christ for the faithful. They receive at the same time the answer to their prayer. Give us today our daily bread. In communion, Jesus puts himself in our hands so that we know exactly where to find him. In that moment, we don't have to wonder whether God is for us. We know he is because we've just tasted his provision. He gives us his son, his life-giving flesh. Give us today this bread of life.